Earlier this summer, U.S. President Joe Biden traveled to Saudi Arabia. With the ongoing war in Ukraine and rising gas prices, Biden needed to secure the oil America desperately needs to drive its economy. However, in a shocking twist, the Saudis changed their minds and instead declared a 2 million barrel a day cut in crude oil production, which was specifically aimed at the United States. The Saudi prince bluntly reminded America that it should fix its own energy problems, which is quite a contrast from what Saudi Arabia told China last year. Ensuring the continuing security of China's energy needs remains our highest priority, not just for the next five years, but for the next 50 years and beyond. Saudi Arabia is quickly shifting away from the United States and will now increase production for Asian nations, in particular India and China. Asian countries are now the largest importers of Saudi oil, and the Saudis have even bigger ambitions. Join the BRICS alliance and change the future of the US dollar. Everyone, today's video is proudly sponsored by Masterworks, a unique investing platform that can help you diversify your assets in this unprecedented time in our world economy. Please watch to the end to learn more. Consisting of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, the BRICS network is a powerful alliance that represents over 40% of the world's population. And over the past few years, we've seen an interesting development in the global opinion of the United States. Let's go back to 2017 when Pew Research found a number of countries who viewed the U.S. power and influence as a major threat. Notice some of the countries on this list. Germany, France, Spain, Canada. These countries are some of the United States its closest allies. At the time, many nations feared the path the U.S. was going down with President Trump in charge. Fast forward to today, and the U.S. domestic politics and foreign policy have become even worse. Given the domestic turmoil and the instability of U.S. politics, countries like Saudi Arabia now wish to diversify from the U.S. The idea of joining BRICS shows Saudi Arabia's growing autonomy in its diplomacy with Washington while also protecting its own energy interests. Now, the preparation of the Saudis to join BRICS actually began on August 24th, 2021, when the Saudis signed a military agreement with Russia. Since 1945, the Saudis have relied on the United States for military protection, but a move to align with Russia was the first indication that the Saudis had a desire to grow closer to the BRICS alliance. Once the Saudis, and potentially more members from OPEC, are admitted into BRICS, the process of de-dollarizing our world economy will begin to accelerate. The members of BRICS are working on developing a new global reserve currency, and China will play an important role in this plan as it has developed the most advanced central bank digital currency. The key city for China's master plan is the international financial hub of Hong Kong and a new digital currency project called the M-Bridge. To break US dollar hegemony, the BRICS network doesn't have to eliminate the USD. Instead, it only has to provide an alternative. And Hong Kong's new M-Bridge digital currency will be the centerpiece of China's long-term de-dollarization plan. The process is well underway. And as this Bloomberg article from last month shows, the Chinese Yuan recently passed both the Australian dollar and the Swiss franc to become the fifth most traded currency in the world. To further accelerate this process, Saudi Arabia is exploring opportunities with Beijing to price some of its oil sales in Chinese yuan, a move that would dent the US dollar's dominance of the global petroleum market. The talks with China over yuan-based oil contracts have been going on since 2016, but have accelerated this year as the Saudis have grown increasingly unhappy with the US security commitments to defend Saudi Arabia. The Saudis are angry angry with the U.S. over a lack of support for their intervention into the Yemen civil war and over the Biden administration's attempt to strike a deal with Iran over its nuclear program. China buys more than 25% of the oil that Saudi Arabia exports, and if priced in yuan, those sales would instantly boost the standing of China's currency. The Saudis are also considering including RMB-denominated future contracts known as the Petro Yuan. It would be a profound shift for Saudi Arabia to price even some of its roughly 6.2 million barrels a day of crude exports in anything other than U.S. dollars. Around 80% of global oil sales are priced in dollars, and the Saudis have traded oil exclusively in dollars since 1974. But for China, using dollars has become a hazard highlighted by U.S. sanctions on Iran over its nuclear program and on Russia in response to the war in Ukraine. In recent years, the world has watched Saudi Arabia and China grow closer together. China has helped the kingdom build its own ballistic missiles, consulted on nuclear program, and began investing in Prince Solomon's key infrastructure 
projects, such as Neon, a futuristic new city. The big storyline here is the furthering relationship between China and Saudi Arabia. China's oil imports have grown substantially over the last three decades, in line with its expanding economy. As a result, Saudi Arabia was China's top crude supplier in 2021, selling 1.7 million barrels a day, followed by Russia at 1.6 million barrels a day. As one senior U.S. official has stated, the dynamics have dramatically changed. The U.S. relationship with the Saudis has changed. China is now the world's largest crude importer, and they are offering many lucrative incentives to the Saudis. One of the incentives is to trade oil in yuan. Some economists said moving away from dollar-denominated oil sales would diversify the kingdom's revenue base and could eventually lead to repeg the Saudi rial to a basket of currencies, much like Kuwait's dinar. As mentioned before, the BRICS network is actively exploring ways of establishing a new global reserve currency through their basket of currencies. If it is done now, at a time of strong oil prices, it would not be seen negatively. It would be seen more as deepening ties with China, said Monica Malik, chief economist at Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank. Ali Shahabi, who formerly ran a pro-Saudi think tank in Washington, said the kingdom can't ignore China's desire to pay for oil imports in its own currency, particularly after the US and EU blocked the Russian central bank from selling foreign currencies in its reserve stockpile. And here's the big takeaway from today's video. If the Saudis are accepted into BRICS, then it will practically guarantee that Saudi Arabia will stop trading oil exclusively in US dollars. The US has enjoyed a historical run of dollar hegemony in oil trade since 1974, but as the world becomes more polarized, more unstable, and more uncertain, all of us are going to have to become more savvy and start planning for a better long-term future. As I mentioned at the start of this video, I've partnered with Masterworks to tell this important story of global trade, and it's important to note what this new world means for investors as the world becomes less reliant on the US dollar. One of the reasons China and Asian countries are looking for other currency alternatives is the soaring dollar, which has made international trade very difficult. The surging dollar is a big factor in this year's historic losses, losses that have wiped out over $36 trillion in stocks and bonds. It's so bad that those with a model portfolio of 60% stocks and 40% bonds are experiencing their worst losses in 100 years, losing over 34% this year alone. Retail investors are even worse off, having lost a horrifying 44%. So what can we do as we look towards this future of uncertainty? Recently, Morgan Stanley released an incredible report on alternative assets, and the results are fascinating. Published just two weeks ago, Morgan Stanley believes a portfolio that includes alternative assets could enjoy lower volatility and higher returns. Morgan Stanley is bullish on fine art as an alternative investment and noted that even with historic losses this year in other sectors, the average fine art piece is selling for 26% more at auction compared to last year. Even the surging dollar isn't bringing it down, and if anything, Bank of America points out that it could be helpful as a weak foreign currency allows collectors to shop for more expensive works abroad. That's why I think Masterworks is amazingly positioned and why I continue to partner with them. They are an incredible platform that will help you diversify your investment portfolio. Masterworks lets you invest in multi-million dollar works of art, but without needing millions of dollars. And the results have been remarkable. Even since my last video talking about Masterworks, they sold another painting, this time for 21.5% net return. It's the sixth of their seven sales to bring in an over 20% net returns, which is absolutely incredible. I've been working with Masterworks for most of 2022 and continue to be amazed by the platform, the people, the professionalism, and the service they provide to average investors like you and me. Masterworks has been acquiring more art to keep up with their demand, and there is currently a waitlist. However, you can skip the waitlist and learn more today by simply clicking the link down in my description. Everyone, it's now time to let me know what you think about Saudi Arabia and the future of the US dollar. I look forward to hearing your comments in the section below, and I look forward to seeing you all in another video soon.